Hi everyone, today we're going to be making clay marionette puppets. Our learning target is I can create art that has three dimensions. Supplies we'll need today are a ball of air dry clay, some clay tools, a cup of water, and our puppet body template. First thing you're going to do is push down on your clay, flattening it into a clay slab so that it looks like a pancake or a chocolate chip cookie and has a thickness that is about one quarter of an inch thick, which is about the thickness of a brand new pencil eraser. So press down evenly so that your whole slab is even and one side isn't thicker than the other side and make sure that it's not too thin because then it'll easily break so this looks about good I'm gonna choose one of my templates this one is supposed to have a bun this one is supposed to have a bun and a dress and this one just has a shirt and no hair so I'm gonna choose this one to show you how I can add hair to it Using your wooden tool, I want you to trace around your body template. Now lift off the template, you don't need that anymore. Now you need to decide what hairstyle you want. So we can make a long, hairstyle like this so just draw it lightly in your clay as at first if you don't like that dip your finger in water and erase you can do two buns this and again if you don't like it erase with water I think I'm going to do a low bun hairstyle so make my hair on top and make a circle for a low bun now you're going to use this tool to cut out all around the shape you created. You can try to use your plastic knife tool, but I find this wooden tool to work so much easier and it turns out clean and neat. Now remove the excess clay from around your body and you can put this aside to be used for your arms and legs later. Clean up the edges of your body using a little bit of water. Dip your finger in your water cup and gently smooth out the edges. Make sure not to use too much water. You don't want this to get too wet and a lot of water is not necessary. Okay, using your wooden tool again, we're going to start creating the details on your person's body. So using some simple lines, I'm creating texture on my person's hair. I definitely want to do this to create um, texture and just emphasize that hair. Next I'm going to start on the face so I'm gonna make two simple dots with my wooden tool for my eyes. This is a super simple way to create the face of your marionette puppet using lines to make the shape of my nose and a curved line 
for the shape of my mouth. I'm gonna give myself some eyebrows as well. And now I'm gonna start on my shirt. So making a curved line for where the neck hole of my shirt starts. And then you can make whatever designs on your shirt or dress or whatever it is that you want. Um, I think I'm going to use the back of my wooden tool and just press lightly making some polka dots on my shirt. I'm not poking all the way through, just really lightly making some polka dots. And the last step before you start on the arms and legs is to create the holes where your arms and legs will be attached. And you also need a hole close to the top of your head that's going to hold your marionette puppet up. So stick the wooden tool all the way through to the wax paper and swirl it around a little bit, making your hole a little bit bigger. Perfect. So now you can take your extra clay and roll out a clay coil to make your arms and legs. So pinch your clay ball into more of a cylinder shape and you can start to roll it out. If it starts to feel uneven, I want you to pinch anywhere with your fingers that feels uneven. When you're rolling, apply an even amount of pressure in order for it to stay nice and evenly rolled out. You don't want your arms and legs to be too thin because then they will easily break and you also won't be able to put that hole in them that you need to attach them to your body later. So I'm just cutting two arms, two longer legs. I'm going to shape them with a little bit of water to, to smooth out any rough edges or any cracks that I might see. So if you look, my body is, um, it's not too thin, so that's great. Honestly, too thick is better than being too thin. All right, so here's one of my arms. I'm gonna take my wooden tool again, poke that hole through, all the way through, and that's definitely big enough to be able to string your arm to your body later. So do this with all of your arms and legs. 